Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to update and install iOS 14 on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now it's really important that you watch this entire video to avoid any issues. And if you do run into any, let me know in the comments below. Let's get started. Now, before we jump into this, you wanna make sure that your phone is prepared and ready for the update. So first off, make sure you have a good, consistent internet connection that's fast. You wanna make sure that you have at least 50% battery on your device. If not, just plug it up to the charger before you start the update. You also wanna make sure that you have enough storage on your device so that you can update. You can see on screen how large the file is going to be. So make sure you free up enough space. And also keep in mind that not all iPhones phones and iPod touch can update to iOS 14. So there's a link in the description. It'll show you which devices can update and which can't. Now at this point, you want to back up your device and you can use either the iCloud option that you have in your settings application. You can plug it up to your computer or you can use a device like this right here. This is the Transcend Jet Drive. I'll link you in the description. This allows you to transfer your photos and then you can upload them to your computer. So assuming you have everything prepared, you're going to want to open your settings application here and you're going to tap on the general option and then tap software update. Now it's going to check for the update might take a little bit longer than it did right here, but you can see at the top 2.83 gigabytes. That's how big of a file this is going to be. You're probably going to need to free up more space than that as been the case with previous updates from Apple. You can read through all of this. You can tap the learn more option and get some more information here of what this update entails and decide if you want to update for yourself, but we're here to update. So we're going to tap download and install, enter in your passcode. And when the terms of service pop up, tap agree, tap agree again. Now, while it's downloading and preparing the update, you don't want to turn the phone off and you don't want it to run out of batteries. Just leave it alone, let it do its thing. And honestly, even though it's going to give you those estimated times, it probably is going to take you around 20 minutes to half an hour as it has been for me in the past. All right, so that did take a little bit of time. It took about 20, 30 minutes. Once it's done for you, you can tap install. It's going to start installing now at this point you really don't want to turn the phone off don't unplug it from the charger just let it do its thing you'll see a lot of different things happening on screen the phone's going to turn on off a few times you'll see some status bars and things like that again i'm going to speed this up for you so you don't have to watch the whole thing but this may take again another half hour if not longer depending on which device you're using and other factors like that all right, so that again took a little bit of time, not as long as the update, but here we are on the front screen. We're all updated. We'll just swipe up. It'll ask us for our password again. Enter that in. We'll tap continue here. You can go through this. I don't like to share this information. Display zoom. I leave it on standard. You can see what it looks like on zoomed. Welcome to the iPhone, and there it is, iOS 14. Now just to show you, we did update, we'll open our settings application again. We will go to the general tab and tap software update. It'll check for the update quickly. There we are at iOS 14.0, the software is up to date. And that entails all the new features with iOS 14, including the app library, which goes through and organizes your applications in various sort of app drawer like feel. I'll be showing you guys how to use some of the best features with iOS 14 in upcoming videos. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one here and click that bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And if you found this video helpful, share it on social media. It'll help other people find it and get them updated to iOS 14 as well. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.